you're working both sides of the equation. Mm. You're working with vendors that are actually dictating the world we live in, and you also work with governments and enterprise and big businesses yeah. that need to actually, you know, build the environments and safe haven their data. Like from an MSP point of view, that value pitch, right? Yeah. You know, can you elaborate a bit on your thoughts? As the owner of a business, and this is shifting, but I think once upon a time, the owner of a business thought they would have to spend a fixed amount of technology, of money on technology, and then that would they'd be sorted, right? They would have spent the money they needed on technology. Clearly now the world is so um, digitally uh, enabled and technology is the backbone of everything, right? So It's the oxygen for It's business. the backbone of everything, right? Yeah. The ship has sailed. We can't go back to an analog world. That's just not going to happen, right? So it means that technology is an ongoing spend. It's an operational cost. Yeah, you're not going to have a point in time where you've won the battle of technology. And then it's the same with with the cyber and the connectivity I was talking about earlier, right? You're just going to have to always spend money on it. So I think where that then comes down to working with partners and working with, say, a managed services provider is you're not going to go and spend the money with a managed services provider to get what you could do yourself. So there's got to be something different. And that's that value concept, right? Yeah. What a managed services provider can bring is specialised value and understanding at scale to a client that they can't afford to do themselves. But that key word there, afford, is a really important one. You can get really good value from a managed services provider, but I don't think you can call it a cost-saving measure. That is a really bad mindset, right? Mm. And I've sat on both sides of the fence, right? So I do understand that people are always looking to do more with less money, but the reality is that you have to understand what your priority is with technology. And then if you really are looking to get the best value out of your technology spend, it would make sense to go and spend it with someone who specialises in doing that technology for you.